Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, <laughs> my voice still isn't right. Um, just really quickly, I've been to the doctors. They've given me some antibiotics, hoping that that um, knocks it out once and for all. But you know, if it's a virus, that won't make any difference. So it's really lingered now. Um, and I am fed up with it, but my voice is a lot better, but it still hurts to swallow. So I've got another, I give it another two weeks. And if it's not better, um, I think I'll probably ask for some tests because that would be over six weeks then, which is too long. But thank you all so much for your kindness and your concern. The birds are really loud today. I expect you can hear them. I've got all the doors wide open because it's really warm today. It's beautiful. The weather's been absolutely stunning here in the UK. Most of the UK, I think. Um, my son was actually in, where was he, Scarborough, and he said the weather was gorgeous there too. So um, that's good. That's what we like in a summer. So I've got um, an M&S haul for you today, um, and it looks, oh, fingers, fingers and toes crossed. It looks like some really nice things. So I'm, I'm really, really hoping that they look on, as good as me as they do on the hanger. <laughs> No one knows, do they? So, a um, couple of other things I just wanted to mention. Do you remember I bought this um, Shield and Defend from number seven at Boots? And uh, first of all, they gave me the wrong shade. And then I changed it to the medium rich from the rich. And I'm loving it, actually. It's what I'm using every day. And in the summer, I don't really use a foundation. I just use a tinted moisturiser. I think it's all you need. And... Um, my tan on my face is mostly fake tan. I do go tanned quite easily, so um, I, I don't actually really know what's 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 kind of skin damage tan or what is um, fake. And my body is I use Factor Thirty all over and Fifty on my face, so um, you know. But I've had quite a lot of sun this year, so um, I like having a tan. That's just a fact. Um, so uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to run through a little demonstration of this Sally Hansen airbrush legs because I promised a viewer that I would do that and I forgot in the last one. This is a darker shade than I normally use. I think this might be my daughter's actually, but it'll it'll do the job to show you. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'll have to put the camera on the floor because I can't put my legs on the table. And then I wanted to show you this as well uh, before I get on with the um, M&S haul. So... I was sent this pillow and I was actually sent it, well, probably a couple of three months ago. And um, at first I resisted it, that's the truth. And, um, and then the guy was really kind of uh, persistent, but not in like a pushy way, in just a, you know, give us a try way and, and see what you think. And I'm, I'm actually quite impressed, I'll be honest with you. Um, this is, quite innovative. So this is the Sleep and Glow pillow. It's an innovative design, easy for you to say. And um, it's it's really impressive. I must admit, I didn't expect to like it. And I, the first night I didn't, but um, they do say to persevere over a few nights. And um, so that's what I did. And um, so it, it, it What's different about it? It's got this indentation in the middle here, which is for if you're sleeping on your back. And then it's got these two quite deep indentations either side here. And the idea being that your head is on the center part of the pillow if you're on your side and um, your face isn't being pushed against anything. It's just kind of in, in midair, I suppose, really. So, um, making sure I've got it the right way around because this is this is like narrower foam and this is thicker foam, so it creates the cradle here. And you very much put your head, so that's the edge there, and your your head is kind of your face is just over this hollow, so nothing is pressing against your face. So no wrinkles or lines can be formed 
by the fact that you are actually asleep on the pillow. It's really comfortable. I'll just move that down, you can see. See what I mean? It's like my my head is being supported, but my face is is not on anything. So you don't get those um, wrinkles in your face. And so, you know, if you've had a, a heavy night or a, a lack of sleep or whatever, and you've got to go up and get up and go to work early of the morning, it's brilliant because, you know, the whole of my face is not touching the pillow. So I just wanted to demonstrate that clearly so that you can see. Oh. So comfortable, it's lovely. So that's the Sleep and Glow pillow. I'll put all the description in the box below and um, discount code and so on and so forth. So I'm very pleased with it, the Sleep and Glow pillow. Um, as I said, I've got an M&S haul um, today. Thank you for all the suggestions for different um, bits and bobs that people would like to see. I'll work my way through those. I will schedule another live, schedule another live. Um, and um, I'm going to see if I can get mum on it too. But it might be a bit fast for mum. I mean, mum's as quick as anything, you know. She's 92 next week. So we're all going over on Sunday to the Isle of Wight to celebrate her birthday, which is lovely. And uh, I think the weather's changing on Sunday though. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on and um, I'll get on with the haul in my haul. I'll put links to everything in the description box down below. And um, again, I'd be really grateful if you haven't subscribed, if you would subscribe, please. It, doesn't, it costs you nothing. It really helps to grow the channel and um, give me more opportunities to show you more things. And you can always unsubscribe if, if you know, it's not your cup of tea. So um, yeah, I'll, sorry, I'll get on with everything and uh, I'll wrap up at the end, thanks. So, you've heard of double denim. Well, this is double broderie and glaze. So this is um, a pure cotton top and a pure cotton skirt. They're both broderie and glaze. This top is 29.50 and the skirt is 39.50. And it's a very pretty little blouse. I mean, it is completely kind of see-through really. I mean, you've got the holes I've got this great bra on that I got from Bravissimo, which is such a good colour for kind of nude. Because when I, with having a tan, it's actually more my colour than the, um, that sort of sludgy nude colour that they do. It's black and white. Um, so I'll show you it kind of tucked in. No pockets in the skirt, which is a shame really. I think it would look really cute with, with pockets. It looked nice with a slim fitting black t-shirt I think not not so sure on the double 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 but uh, it's a nice little blouse I mean it look, look you know it looks so good out on this I suppose you could do that French tuck thing um lovely length sleeve just a little elasticated cuff with the frill but it's not too kind of namby pamby just some little rouleau loops there. I didn't need to undo it to put it on. The skirt is just elasticated. So um, that just pulled on as well. I can't remember if I got this in a look. Oh, hang on, I can tell you. This is an irregular, this is regular length. But I think it came in long or short as well. So I just thought it made a change from a dress really. Um, I'm not, I'm not keen on it for myself because it's a bit like, pfft, makes me look a bit, so um, I won't be keeping it, but I thought you might like to see it. So that's number one. This is such a beautiful shirt, don't you think? This is pure linen with this black leaf embroidery on it. This is 45 pounds. I think it's a stunning shirt. I think it looks really classy and, uh, I love it, really, really like it. Plain back, that's fair enough, I think. I don't think, actually, I mean, it would be nice if it was on the back, but that would probably push the price up. Pure linen, size 18, 45 pound. I think everything's an 18 that I've tried on today. Now, I promise, 
I promise that I will never try on another pair of cargo trousers. I just keep wanting them, but they don't want me. So um, I've got these ones on, they're black. I mean, they don't look too bad with the shirt over the top, but if, yeah, without the shirt. They're not elasticated or anything, they are a fitted waist um, with the loops at the bottom and the pocket on the side. I'll show you, obviously. It's hard to see, isn't it? I don't know if that helps. They've got kind of the two pleats there, the drawstring bottom. I don't know. I'm always worried about the, the strobing of the lights. I don't know if I can tighten that up if they'd look better. Maybe. I'm trying not to go dizzy because I've got low blood pressure. Um, I've tightened these up a bit. I mean, from the side, right, they look dreadful. But, um, I don't know, I can't really see, so I'll see when you see. Um, but they, they're not, because they've got no stretch in them at all, so they're not particularly comfortable. Um, I'm not sure what the fabric is, it's probably a viscose blend, I'm guessing, because it's certainly not pure cotton. Um, and they were 39.50. So I love the shirt, jury's out on the trousers, but um, it's nice to see some new things, isn't it? I think this shirt would really carry you through right through to kind of autumn really it's just so nice lovely i think this is the sort of thing that mark should do more of you know classic things that look expensive i mean it will crease to death you know definitely but you know a bit of starch but it's, it's a really lovely quality can you can you see the weave on there yeah you can see it's really nice so Blouse, yes, trousers. So this is a pretty dress. Um, black and I guess it's ivory. Nice puff sleeve, but with the kind of, you know, they do the puff, it's a bit like a puff ball skirt, I suppose. You know, it's kind of got the lining underneath there. Nice square neck. Um, easy to just slip on and off. It's got the shirt back and the tie at the top which wouldn't you know wouldn't suit everybody i mean there's my bra's way below there so that's not a problem in itself but what i'm really surprised about this dress is actually polyester and i don't think i checked that i don't normally buy polyester dresses because well for obvious reasons now <laughs> i mean polyester is polyester but it is a really lovely fabric. It's kind of got a texture to it. I don't know if you can see that texture. So it, it's a weird one because it does not feel like polyester, but it is polyester. And so it hasn't got the breathing qualities of a summer dress that I think a design like this, you would expect not to be polyester. It's kind of, kind of crinkly. It has got a little bit of elastane in it. It's really unusual. I, I don't know if you can kind of see that on the camera, but it's it's kind of textured. I don't know if you can if I can get that on the camera. But um, it's a lovely dress, I think. I just don't know what to say about the fact that it's polyester. Apart from the fact that I keep saying polyester, it's really light. It's really lightweight. So if you know overheating isn't a problem for you or, you know, armpit problems, you know what I'm saying. It is a lovely dress. Probably doesn't need ironing. It'll probably travel really well. I like the design. I'm just a bit surprised that it's not cotton. So, um, I'll, I'll leave it up to you what you think, really. But it's really lightweight. I mean, I, I can't explain how... Um, much lighter than cotton, but obviously it doesn't breathe. I, I don't know what to say. Did I say that that last dress was 45 pounds? It was 45 pounds. This dress is also 45 pounds. And this is in a really bright uh, lime yellow. 
if that makes sense. Nice little bit of rick rack around the um, edge in here and around the sleeve, which is a nice detail. The sleeves aren't as long as I would prefer, but they're not a bad length. And it's buttoned through, although I just slipped it over my head. This is 100% viscose, um, so it's more of a natural fabric. It's very light, so it's a little bit clingy. We've talked about that before. It's a good shape. Um, it's kind of a higher waist, I'd say. It's not on your waist. My waist is there, but I have got a long body, but it's not um, under your bust either. I don't really think that this adds anything. In fact, I think I'd take that off. It's not needed, is it? Really? I don't know what the point of it is, to be honest. I, I'd rather have pockets than that. Anyway, um, I think this dress came in several different colourways, actually. Um, as I say, it's, it's very lightweight and a nice bright colour for hot summer days like the one we're having. But I mean, you can see like anything lumpy and bumpy. So um, that's, oh, I've got one more thing to show you. Yeah, sorry, I've got one more thing to show you and a pair of sandals. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get on. So um, another 45 pound dress. Not sure it's worth that, to be honest. Although this detail, obviously, that's expensive to do. This is expensive to do. But if you compare it to the Asda and Matalan dresses, jury's out. So um, I'll pop the other, uh, I think it's a cardigan on. I just thought I'd show you this little cardigan quickly. It's just a little delicate knitted cardigan. It's 29.50. Um, I should have checked, shouldn't I? It, this is in a large. And it's certainly big enough for me. I um, don't know where it's made from. But it's got like a, a gold thread running through it. It's cotton, polyester and met metallised fibres. So it's got this kind of fair sleeve and it's quite short. Just just comes to your top of your sort of trousers. Um, it's not bad. It's 29.50. So if you need something, then I guess it's as... You know, it fits that bill. Um, but it's nothing to write home about. But if you need it, it's nice that it's got coloured covered buttons in the same thing. I've I've just got my bra on under it because I didn't have anything down here suitable. But uh, it's quite a pretty little cardi. Uh, you know, if you've got a little strappy dress that you just need um that little bit of a cover up. And um I've put the sandals on, but I'm going to take one off and show it to you and then and then put it on, if that makes sense. I've just slipped the black brochure on blaze skirt back on just to show you. So now these sandals are what you'd call contemporary. You know, they're they're not aimed, they're aimed at like young youngsters. But if you're a certain age, they look like sandals that people with bad feet would wear, if you get my drift. And I think I can't get past that in my head. So they are comfortable. They're 45 pounds. They're kind of white. I'll, I'll just show you. So it's hard to get your eye in. I, I just think, no, nah, I can't do it. Um, I'm not trendy or hip enough. To do it i'll show you it off the the foot so you can see it's got this kind of wide footbed they are leather and these are a standard fit but i don't mind something a bit clumpy but nah not doing it for me i'm afraid but, but they're comfortable and if they're your thing and you know individual choice isn't it but for me I think that I'm in that bracket where people would think I needed them because I had bad feet rather than that I knew what fashion was. <laughs> so I'll go and uh, get changed and then I'll show you the leg makeup and, and wrap up this video. Thank you. It's, it's really difficult for me to show you doing this on my legs. So I thought I'd do it on my arms. I mean, you, you'll get the idea just as well. So um, it's a leg makeup and it really is 
very good for um you know if it rains or anything it, like you, you have to rub it to get it off so you actually have to wash it off in the shower and this one is darker but you can get them much lighter and all it does really is is kind of if you've got any blemishes on your legs or some veins that you you know you're not comfortable with it just helps to uh, minimize those <laughs> so uh i'll show you that yeah i'll do that now so i hope this works fine I mean, it is a bit scary when it first comes out. And I say, this is a dark one, but you just spray it on and you can see it, it blends in really well. So that's the bit of my arm I haven't done and that's the bit I have done. And you can see how effective that is. So, that's without and that's with. It's it's brilliant stuff really. And if if you know, if you're not dark, if you haven't got any tan, I quite like that actually, it looks good. And um, if you haven't got any tan, then just get the paler one. But it, it just masks everything. I wish I didn't know about this when my girls got married and I wore sheer tights with the with the um toe, you know, the peep toe in them, they're so uncomfortable. But um, if I'd have known about this, it was just because I wanted my legs to look, you know, past muster, as they say. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll link it all below. So I've, I've mentioned this, I'm, you know, I'm not getting paid for this or this. Um, I'm just showing you, sharing with you what I enjoy. The Sleep and Glow pillow is great if you have that creased face going on in the morning. And uh, yeah, I think that's all from me. Uh, I've had a bit of a week of it this week. Um, Rob ended up in hospital on Monday because um, he, he suffers with atrial fibrillation and uh, it didn't, didn't go away. So we ended up with him in hospital for three days, but he's absolutely fine now. And uh, he's just sitting relaxing in the garden, back to work on Monday, so <laughs> anyway. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I think my next one is uh, two at Sainsbury's. So thank you very much as ever. Bye for now.